This video is made possible by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Electric Logo Intro. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second. Now the first step is to create a new solid layer. I am calling it the background. Use any color you want and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fractal noise. Place it onto the layer, change the noise type to block, and then change the contrast value to 200. As well as change the brightness value to negative 100. Open transform, and change the scale value to around 20. Now change the complexity value to 1, and this is how it will look now. Let's minimize this effect, then again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the find edges. Place it right below the fractal noise layer, and click on this inverted option. Let's apply the CC lens to it. Place it right below the find edges layer. Then make sure you are at the first frame, and change the size value to 150. Also, I am changing the convergence value to 75. Now add a keyframe on the size. Then go to around 5 second position, and change the size value to 400. And this is how the background will look. Of course, we will make it better in the end. Now open the opacity, and change the opacity value to 50%. Not bad, let's hide this layer for now because we will focus on the text first. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. By the way, you can download this font from the link in the description. And also, you can add your logo instead of the text. Now align your text into the center, then right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it logo slash text comp. Hit OK, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for Vegas. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change the blend mode to transparent, and the segment value to 1. Now change the length value to 0.5. Also, turn on this random phase button. Now change the width value to 3.5, and the hardness value to 1. Then open the image contours, and change the channel to alpha. Let's change the render to the selected contours. Now we will add an expression on this selected contours slider. So press and hold the Alt or Option key on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. In this expression area, type random, parenthesis 10. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. It has created some nice flickering effects. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the compound blur. Place it right below the Vegas effect, and change the maximum blur value to 30. Let's minimize this as well. Again, go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the curves. Place it right below the compound blur, then change the channel to alpha. Now increase the alpha intensity by dragging the curves like this. Make one more duplicate, and adjust its curve to something like this. It will make the text more visible. Perfect. If you notice the flickering is too fast, so I am going to apply one more effect to it. Apply the posterize time effect on it, and change the frame rate value to 12. It will make it slower. Before moving to the next step, let's quickly take a look at Envato Elements. Download unlimited After Effects templates, logo music, background music, 
sound effects, fonts, stock footage, web templates, mockups, and more. Visit the first link in the description, and download anything for free for 7 days. Let's get back to the tutorial. Perfect. This looks good to me. Let's go around this point. Then make a duplicate of this text comp layer. I am calling it logo text electric. Now add an expression on this rotation, and in the expression box, type time, times 30. It will rotate this stroke around the text. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Not bad. Now we don't need this compound blur on it, so I'm going to delete it, as well as the curves. We will keep the Vegas and posterize time only. Again, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the turbulent displace. Place it right above the posterize time, and change the amount value to 250, and the size value to 15. It will add this kind of displacement to the stroke. Now we will use the offset for adding some animation to it. So again add an expression to it. In this expression area, type wiggle parenthesis, 500 comma 300. Eject from the typing box, and this is how it looks now. Not bad. Let's add another expression on evolution. This time, I am adding time, times 30. Now one thing you may notice, this electric stroke is showing away from the light position, we want it to display over the text, so we need to make a small change. Simply scroll to the top, and press E double time to reveal the expression. In this selected counters, we will link this expression with the bottom one. So press the wave key to toggle the false screen, then grab this pick whip, and drop it to the selected contours of the bottom layer, and it will align it with the bottom one. It is working fine. You can always adjust any values according to your requirement. Now make one more duplicate of this electric layer, and we will remove all the expressions from it. Just click on the expression, and press the delete key. Now solo this layer, so that we can focus on it only, and then remove the turbulent displace from it. Change the Vegas width value to 1, and the hardness value to 0. Also, keep the midpoint position value to 1. Now change the length value to 0, make sure you are at the 2 second position, and add a keyframe on the length, as well as the rotation. Then go to around 15 frames forward, and change the length value to 1, as well as the rotation value to 1. Uncheck this random phase option, and change the render to all counters. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. We will use it to make the reveal animation. Select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now make one more duplicate of this layer, and then press the open square bracket key, to set the starting point here. Open opacity, and add an expression to it. We are going to use the random, bracket 20. It will flicker the text layer randomly. But I think 20 is not sufficient, so I am going to change the random value to 100. Let's remove the Vegas effect from it. As well as the posterized time. Check the animation. And this is how it looks. Not bad. Let's go to around the 3 second position, and make another duplicate of this layer. Press the open square bracket key to set the starting point. Now open opacity, and remove this opacity expression from it. Then go to around 15 frames forward, and press the ALT, or OPTION close bracket key on your keyboard, to trim out this layer. Then go to the 4 second position, and trim this bottom layer as well. 
check the animation. Let's minimize all layers, and now I'm going to the 3 second position. Select these layers, and trim out them as well. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Let's unsolo these layers, so that we can see all the animation. I am going to set my end area at the around 4 second position. Adjust the timing and then you can also experiment with your own design. By the way, you can add some colors, as well as the glow to the design, and make it look similar to what I have. Change the background opacity value to 10, add some glow, as well as the color into the electric layer, and you are good to go. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.